Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello. So here we are at Silver Lake. And it's the first time that I'm loading the boat onto the trailer by myself. And so we have a good level of water. It's high tide. And whenever you can't see the bottom of the ramp, it's really ideal. Um, when you when the water goes all the way down, it's bad news. So we're pretty good here. And the rule with this type of setup is that you want the hubcaps just to be over the water level. You also want the sidebars, I forget what they call them, wet. So you didn't see it on the video, but I dipped them into the water, which lubricates them. There's carpeting on each side of those two by fours, which will make this aluminum boat slide nicely. And you can see, even though it's uh, not dusk yet, I have the lights on the boat. Because if you're parked in the water, you need these lights on, right? But it's a pretty cool setup. Don't want to tell you what happened when I launched the boat. Because all of my good followers on YouTube think that I'm <laughs> good at everything. Uh, let's just say I'm soaking wet, okay? I'll just leave it at that. Soaking wet. And let's just say that I was swimming in this alligator water right about where my finger is. That goes down six feet. See this area here? That's six feet. Here's the ramp, but off the ramp, six feet. I learned that the hard way. I'm six feet tall. Uh, yeah. So, um... Anyway, let's get the, let's get this onto this thing. Beautiful thing about this is that nobody's here. Nobody's here, man. <laughs> I love it. So now, what's keeping my boat from moving? Well, I have a remote-controlled anchor that's for shallow water. Okay, it's not going to work on the ocean, but I'm anchored. I'm anchored and I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to lift the anchor. You can see it's not even that deep in. But let's remotely lift the anchor. Okay. When you hold it like this, the arrow up is up. Okay. So now we're not anchored anymore. So we'll start floating. Okay. And this, this is, this is the goal. Get the boat started and get it onto this thing. Okay, let me do that. Okay, the law says that we have to have this attached to us so that if somehow I get ejected from the boat, this is attached and the ignition is shut off so that the blade on the propeller doesn't uh, hurt me or anybody else. Okay, let's do this. One of the things that's easy to forget is, is your motor in the water. You see that plate right there in the middle of your screen? Has to be at least under the water. Okay, has to be at least. And we're in shallow water, so I think that's all I'm gonna do is put it just, you know, just at that level. that water starts flowing we know we're cooling the engine as we're, we're operating it so we're safe okay so let's get this thing backed up here nice and easy nice and easy come on now come on now a boisterous crowd uh, boisterous couple showed up 
Let me tell you something. I hate to be negative, but I can't stand when people start screaming. It's very disruptive to, to peace of mind, you know? By the way, it's, it's stressful to do this. And you're noticing I'm doing it while the light is still up. Uh, <laughs> Spencer learned the hard way that you don't uh, get on your trailer in the dark unless unless you remember to bring this thing man long story true story though true story okay let's get over there okay so i just made a circle so i can come up on this thing because i started floating because i'm holding the camera and um I want to get a good distance between me and that trailer. Okay, now I'm going to slow the boat down. I am just now going with momentum. Okay. I got this crowd, they were watching me. You know, they're not watching the help. You know, they're kind of, I think they're like rooting for me to crash. Check this out. He's about to crash, man. <laughs> this is cool. You know? Anyway, if I had a nice camera holder, this would be a little more fluid. It's really easy to get this boat up onto the... Um... See, she's up on there already. Now, if I give it a little juice, she might straighten out. She might not. Yeah, she's straightening out. Okay, we're on. We're on. Now, you try to do that with a pontoon boat. You do it five times before you get it on. Now, we're just going to give this a little power, a little thrust. So that, see, because we're straight, we're nice. All right. And believe it or not, you can actually push this boat yourself, manually, right up onto it. But, you know, we'll just give it a couple of little pushes and be done with it okay i think i'm good i like how much i'm i'm up on that thing i can pull the rest with the winch that's attached if you have somebody else with you it's hard to get wet but i'm gonna walk these rails and avoid getting wet but you might have to get wet not bad for being alone right so i'm walking the rails not too shabby. <laughs> you know what I didn't tell you? I don't think. There's alligators in this water. And they cross from that side over to here at this time of the day. Okay, so we're going to attach the winch. All right? And all I'm going to do is get this thing. this thing attached to there. Once you get that attached, you just change the direction of the winding. Here's what I love about this. Now remember, look at how it just moves the boat. Look at this. Awesome invention. The pulley, look at this. And remember, we have it lubricated, right? So we're not damaging anything here. And then we want it nice and snug, right? Nice and snug, because when you're traveling now with the vehicle, you don't want this banging around. So you want it on there. So we're ready to go, get in the vehicle. But that's what your, that's what this boat should look like when you're pulling out of this water. And you notice the motor, you notice that it's out of that water. I don't want it scraping on anything. Sometimes you go into a, a lake and you don't know there's a rock here. There's a rock here. You don't want to be dragging your motor against it. So I trimmed it all the way up. So now I'm just going to put it into low gear. You know, just uh, these, these ramps are slimy and you don't want to be going fast. 
as long as you don't hear the tires rotating, we're good. Now, what, here, here's what I do. You never know. You're a new boater. You just never know. Something You might have left something behind. Here's what I do. As soon as I get out of the water, I get out of the vehicle. I annoy everybody looking to get out of the water. And I just make sure. I'm just checking. I'm checking, man. Because guess what? You never know. You might see something out in the water, like your kid's vest or something. You just never know. All right, everything looks good. Oh, here's something. Shut the battery off, man. <laughs> see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta shut the battery off, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're gonna shut that battery off. And uh, make sure that it's off by by doing what you're embarrassing me now man come on now battery's off okay and we're good we're good everything i live my fishing lines up i just had these installed and so we're good i i pull up all of the the lines and that's it we are ready we should have a lock here this isn't the best setup here. We should have a something, a pin. I have it in the vehicle. I'll put it in there. Let me show you. I forget what they call these $3 pins, but let me tell you something. Uh, think about the damage you can sustain if, if you hit a bump, this thing comes up, right? And then what happens? You lose your boat. Invest in the money and the effort, right? Okay, let's get out of here. I should make this video how not to get your water, get the boat out of the water. Because a guy like this is waiting. Let me schmooze him. Let me schmooze him. Hold on, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Gotta schmooze him. You know why? I got my business name on the side of the truck and everybody's got a smartphone in their hands. This guy's a moron, blah, blah, blah. All right, we're done. Silver Lake, Brooksville, Florida. Let me say one last thing. If you do this in the dark, promise me that you will make sure that the boat is actually on the trailer. It is possible if you're in the dark and your trailer is too submerged in the, in the dark water and you don't have a light, it is possible that your boat will be sitting at an angle that puts the boat on the trailer but not secure in the trailer. It is possible to pull that winch and be riding on top of these rather than inside of them. And then what happens? You get a mile and you drop your $40,000 boat right onto the pavement because you didn't check it was dark out. You assumed that since the boat went, the front went on, you assumed that the back went on. And you assumed, which you know and I know, that when you A S S U M E, you become what? 